Hello dear students, good morning. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss uh, one more time the header and footer because the last time which I taught uh, that I taught to you was little in incomplete. Uh, so we'll discuss uh, insert menu and we'll discuss how to how we can insert header and footer and one more thing which is important for you right now to know is the inserting pictures so in this section of uh, insert menu we will be covering the header footer and inserting pictures and then we'll move to the format menu and, and then we'll end this chapter format menu will will learn to uh, to apply, uh, you know we learn to format the characters paragraphs and we'll also learn to insert bulletin numbers and uh, to insert to format page change keys and columns so these are the topics which we are going to discuss uh, in this session so uh, in the format uh, section let's talk about header and footer uh, header and footer so header is a, a header could be a text or a graphic or any object that appears on every page of a document you have seen headers in uh, in the uh, NCRT books or any book that top has a heading or the top has heading in every page or maybe page number at the bottom. So uh, header is, is something that appears at the top of every page. Footer. Footer appears at the bottom of every page. Okay. So uh, to insert header and footer, you have just have to go to the insert option, click on the header and click on default option. So uh, insert header and click on the default options and th this is your headers header section and here you can simply write a text suppose i am writing a text called computer education okay and at the right side of it i may write uh, you know uh, class ninth for example and at the bottom if i want to go to the bottom of a page or if i want to insert any object over here so what i will do is we will go to the insert option and we'll go then to the fields option so in this insert of field option you can insert date time you can insert page number you can insert page count means the total number of pages or a subject or a title if you have uh, or author name if you have given these things for the document if you have fixed all these things for your document right uh, let me insert something uh, on the footer now so I'll go to the insert option, footer option and default option. Now I am at the footer of a page. You can increase and decrease the area of a footer. Then we can click on the insert option and uh, sorry, uh, insert option and field option. And now suppose I want to insert page number. Now it is page number one. Okay, page one of now I want to insert again page count page one of page one of page count one of one. And it is possible uh, that I may insert some other object also if you want to insert any other object. So you can go to there also other other options and then here you can insert page number, uh, sender, even uh, when you talk about the pages then you have the page number in any format that you want to insert. Okay. There are so many other things that are not related to you right now but uh, this we can insert any field anywhere if required a uh, page number if you want to insert time or a date suppose i want to insert date okay now what happens is now since this is the this is the header and now i can write something on this this is the text okay for example now if you uh, if i insert another page you can see this is another page and in and again another page now there are three pages on it there are three pages and you can see in every at the top of every page there is computer education class 9th computer education class 9th computer education class 9th and at the bottom of it if you can see carefully page 2 of 3 page 3 of 3 and date is also mentioned so this is what we call the header and footer so header and footer are the text or graphics uh, which appears at the top or a bottom of a page respectively and they are important you know uh, like when you type a doc long document uh, and uh, when you type a book or something 
so these header and footers are used so uh, it was not uh, you know totally covered in the last lecture so uh, i have just revised it again then let's move to next section now uh, and we can talk about the inserting images uh, so there are some topics which we will study in class 10 uh, but uh, right now we can uh, discuss uh, one top topic that is called inserting picture in your document so when you insert a picture in your document so how to insert up a picture in your document go to the insert option click on the picture option and click on from file option now when we talk about from file which means that uh, we are going to insert pictures from the the uh, the files which are in your computer so there may be some files in my computer i can insert a picture for example suppose i'm inserting this picture click open so i exerts the picture and clicked in the uh, open option now what i can do i can be these uh, you know resize buttons or scroll points we can resize the image we can change the size of image and uh, after the, I mean uh, after inserting images uh, I can also write text or let me just copy paste it because uh, I have to explain you a topic so I can just simply insert pictures like this once a picture is inserted you can see there are uh, there are uh, the, uh, there is a toolbar called the picture toolbar and this picture toolbar uh, is you is dedicated to the pictures only and we can we can work with this toolbar also like if you want to apply a filter or if you want to insert new image or if you want to apply other filters to the, to the image you can do that or if you can if you want to change the color pattern of this image like you want to make a red just make it reddish or greenish whatever uh, you can do that also and simply you can also increase or decrease the transparency by percentage you can flip uh, image horizontally or vertically here from here also but uh, the best uh, way to you know change image appearance or image working with image is to do right click on it and click on the picture option when you click on the picture options you have the type options wrap hyperlink picture crop border background and macro uh, two important things that you should understand right now because some topics will be covered in class uh, 10th also so you can click on check the border option so we can apply the border into the image we can apply the border color also and we can also increase the border width and right you can see it so this is the image okay which with the, with the border and if you want to fix the background though a uh, background of the image is uh, is slightly visible because the the image uh, you know is appear uh, image appears everywhere uh, but we can we can fix the border of the image uh, if you need to crop the image you can crop it and if you want to flip it horizontally or uh, vertically you can uh, flip it also and we, from here we can change the height and width of the of the image uh, from here and from here we can uh, fix the background and we can also uh, fix the border and if you want to uh, sp increase the space of contents you can sp increase the space of content also from the top and from the right left so picture from space of the content from here and uh, this is background let me show you how we can change it the background so this is the way how we can work with image and you can see along with the image there is there is contents it is called a text which is around the image so if you want to fix this text because right now uh, it might not look very good or the text might not adjust get adjusted with the image so to adjust the text with the image we'll right click on it again we'll go to the picture option and we'll click on the wrap option and you can do the text wrapping maybe suppose for example i'm doing the parallel text wrapping click on this now you can see the text will automatically get adjusted uh, with the image so this is called text wrapping and this is how we insert the 
image okay so click anywhere where you want to insert the image and go to the insert option and click on the picture from file option choose the image that you want to insert and once the image is inserted you can simply do right click on it and go to the picture option and sorry and picture option and you can choose the border background you can crop it by changing the width and height you can uh, also flip it uh, vertically or horizontally you can go for text wrapping and you can also change height and width height and width can be changed from this box also or height and width can also be changed directly from these buttons so that's all in insert menu so we have discussed about the manual break fields uh, that we can insert inserting special characters and inserting hyperlinks header and footer and then we talked about inserting the picture okay thank you so much